Good morning, boys and girls. Uh, we have quite a few questions today, and it covers quite a few basics, so that's always good in a format like this. So, uh, if we're lucky today, we'll cover the meaning of the word Dharma, the use of yoga on the way, uh, some details about meditation and the eyes, maybe some pranayana, uh, maybe some emptiness, that's always nice, and then our situation with regard to information, which is actually uh, probably a good place to start. So let's start with that. We are currently drowning in information. And actually, there's a quote here that someone said. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Uh, <clears throat> this is from, uh, again, from Idris Shah, who's collected and written some of the most extraordinary uh, Dharma materials you're going to find <clears throat> in this century or the last, as far as, as I know. Okay, so drowning. To drown in treacle is just as unpleasant as to drown in mud. Now, for Americans, we don't usually talk about treacle, and we don't talk about, there's another one too, uh, blood pudding or something like that. Uh, the British have their own dietary things, and I'm, I'm, I won't go further than that, but treacle is like a syrupy uh, substance. Uh, if you look it up in the dictionary, it's like a molasses. Let's call it molasses. To drown in, and there may be, but see, you could, you might benefit by drilling down because they don't choose words randomly. I mean, I've learned that over the decades. Okay, to drown in treacle or molasses. Well, let's just leave it the way he did. Okay, to drown in treacle is just as unpleasant as to drown in mud. People today are in danger of drowning in information. But because they have been taught that information is useful, they're more willing to drown than they need be. If they could handle information, they would not have to drown at all. And so this is a, a, a real problem. It was a real problem in the, 20, in the middle of the 20th century when he wrote that, but it's even more of a problem now. So we have, we have and it's, it's a true blessing, especially for people who have not had translations, people who have not had uh, the books, people who could not you know, travel to, to the teacher or, or to the sangha, to the community. And so uh, information is a real boon to us, but, but we're in real danger of not being able to tell good information from bad information or uh, helpful information from distracting information. And people get very, very confused because they're reading materials from the internet and, and sometimes they'll quote someone from the third century or fourth century. And right next to that quote, it just from someone from the 19th century. And they're using the words exactly opposite as, as anyone who studied language knows the meaning of words changes. And so to raise a house is actually to flatten it, for example. All right. And uh, some things are fire now, and but 50 years ago, they were cool, right? Or And before that, they were sick. Or they were, you know, whatever, whatever the, the vernacular is. And so when we're translating, especially, it's, it's vitally important to understand that because you can really get lost. So with regard to information, we're not even going to talk about knowledge. We have our choice now. And I don't know how long this will last. It could last another two weeks. It could last another two years. It could last, you know, uh, for the lifetime of anybody listening. But, but the... But if you can't tell the, 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 I'm going to use the American expression. If you can't tell the shit from the Shinola, that's, you know, then, then, then you've got a problem, right? And, and forgive my language, but, you know, I learned that from the Marines. And so, so if you can't, if you try and shine your shoes with the wrong thing, you're not going to get very far, right? Using, continuing the Marine Corps analogy. So, so you got to know the difference, but people don't know the difference, and they're attracted to things that sound good. Like, and I think De Bono it is that talks about this: the use of goody goody words to manipulate you. So, all I have to do is write a sentence about freedom and love and kindness and compassion, and all of a sudden, you know, everybody likes it because those are good words, right? If we talk birds, trees, love, hearts, you know, peace, kindness, everybody just, you know love everybody, you know, if you use the goody goody word, and it used to be you could put the American flag, right? Or put the, the uh, you know, the picture of Chairman Mao 
and so, so it's not like this, this is a fixed thing. <clears throat> you have to pay attention. And, and, and the use of goody-goody words is endemic in the Dharma. And people use these words as a substitute for understanding. And, and, and I don't need to tell anybody that that's, that can lead to some real problems. And so don't confuse the container for the content. And so anybody who does marketing knows that if you put, what is it, the, the, what is it the Mullah says? The Mullah goes to a, a fashion show. And on his way out, he's interviewed by the media. And he says, you know, first they show you the women, then they try and sell you the clothes, right? And that's what they're doing. Of course, you, you, you use the visual stimuli that the animal brain or the conditioned brain will respond to. And then you've got the, you've got the, the, your victim. So you could sell them whatever you want. And they do. I mean, you could sell them rocks. <laughs> so I'm going to stop on that, but it's a very important question because now we have all the information we can use, but we don't know how to take the information that matters, the, the information that's useful, the information that's good, or the, just the information that's, you know, there's information that's nourishing to the, to the spirit, to the heart. And, and so, so it becomes even more important, the capacity to discern. And uh, there's a story about discernment I'll tell some other time. So I'm gonna stop there, but yeah, we are drowning in sweet, information punctuated with goody goody words that are used to manipulate the population you know democracy you know we got to make the world safe for democracy well <laughs> um, i won't go down that road this moment but i think you get my gist <laughs>